Good evening. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Poonam Burde. The Tirupati Prasad Rao has taken a new dimension. Andhra Pradesh Deputy Chief Minister Pawan Kalyan proposed a Sanatan Dharm certification system to ensure the purity of materials that was used in offerings and in prasads across temples in India. While he was in Tirupati to conclude his 11-day penance, Pawan Kalyan advocated for non-cooperation with any individuals or organizations that attempt to defame or incite hatred against Sanatan Dharm. Without naming DMK or Udayanidhi Stalin, Pavan Kalyan said that Sanatan Dharm cannot be wiped out. The jab was inarguably directed at Udayanidhi Stalin's comment that was made last year where he likened Sanatan Dharm to diseases like malaria and dengue and called for Sanatan Dharm's eradication. Udayanidhi Stalin's remark about that spawned a furious political controversy, especially ahead of the 2024 general elections and those have now been brought back into limelight by Pavan Kalyan. The DMK was quick to respond. The newly inducted Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Udayanidhi Stalin, offered a smile and a forward response when we sought his reaction to Janasena Party Chief's remarks. Let's wait and see, remarked Udayanidhi Stalin. The attack wasn't limited to the DMK though, as far as Pavan Kalyan is concerned, because he took aim at the Gandhi sign as well. He slammed Rahul Gandhi for calling the Ram Mandir consecration ceremony a Nach Gana Sabha. He asked the Congress, why hurt Sanatani Hindus and then seek their votes for power? Isn't that just hypocrisy on part of the Congress is a question Pawan Kalyan asked and that triggered a massive controversy. Anyone tries to tries to wipe out Sanatana Dharma, let me tell you, from the feet of Lord Balaji, you will be by, wiped out. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. And the honorable opposition leader, Sri Rahul Gandhi says, Ayodhya ceremony, when he compares to it as a Nachigan Sabha, none of the Sanatani Hindus should not get hurt. We have to be happy about it. And you want the words of all the Sanatani Hindus to get into the power, to be a political leader, to be in the opposition. Is the Sanatan Dharm controversy and their stance on it the Achilles heel for the Congress and the DMK and the India Alliance as a whole? That's the question we ask on Plain Speak tonight and let me open this up. Charu Pragya, spokesperson of the BJP joins us. America V. Narayanan, leader of the Congress. S. Dharni Dharan, spokesperson of the DMK and senior journalist Arun Anand is with us as well. Let me begin by asking Mr. Dharni Dharan, when Udhari Stalin today, when asked about what Pavan Kalyan said, wait and see, what did he exactly mean? I think you got my name wrong there. I'm Murali Dharan, not Dharni Dharan. I, apol uh, I apologize, sir. That's okay. Okay. And, uh, and he's not see, a DMK uh, spokesperson either. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a DMK spokesperson either. I'm a political commentator. And uh, what was the question? Can you just repeat again, ma'am? When asked about uh, Pawan Kalyan's comments, Udhanidhi Stalin today smiled and said that, uh, let's wait and watch. Wait and you'll see. What exactly was he meaning when he said uh, that? I don't think we really have to wait for that uh, reaction because uh, the in a context in which uh, Udayanidhi Stalin made that comment, he was referring to the casteist oppression in the Sanatana Dharma and not against Hindus or Hinduism. That's what we need to understand. That's point number one. Second is, he said this is vindicated because in the last uh, you know parliamentary elections, uh, DMK scored 40 out of 40. It's as simple as that. So the Hindus in Tamil Nadu, okay, who are like 80%, they're very clear in their mind what is Hinduism and what is Sanatana Dharma and what is Hindutva. So they know they have a clear demarcation for all this. So that's what he meant. I don't have, he doesn't have to wait and see. It's already, you know, it's the writing is there. The writing is on the wall. Charu Pragya, as far as the DMK is concerned or the Congress is concerned uh, and their comments on Sanatana Dharma go, the DMK says, 
that it's the BJP that will perhaps be wiped out as they were in Tamil Nadu because they tried to make a noise about what Udhariti Stalin had said or what other DMK leaders had said, especially in the run-up to the 2024 elections. But it didn't help the BJP there, it won't help the BJP now. Poonam, good evening to you. Not every single thing is a political statement and needs to be received as such. When somebody is attacking Sanatana Dharan, they are attacking the very core of what India and Indians stand for. Sanatan is basically the belief system which uh, is what governs every single Hindu. So how can any political party claim to be clearly against it and make terrible comments, derogatory comments, calling it coronavirus, calling it HIV, calling it whatnot, and get away with it. Tell me, can anybody make statements like this against any other religion and not be taken to task? So why is it that uh, DMK for a very long time has believed that it's all right to attack Hindus, it's all right to attack Sanatan Dharm because uh, uh, in the name of freedom of speech, you're going to get away with it. And all the political parties which ally behind the DMK today need to understand this and understand this clear this is not a poll issue so let's not link it to 2024 general elections this is a forever issue exactly like what Ram Mandir has been and let's also understand that uh, India is a country which has been invaded by foreigners over 200 times they couldn't wipe out Sanatan so what is one half a leader going to do what is he going to do? And if you think that you are going to gain a lot of popularity by attacking on the sentiments of 80% of Indians, you are greatly wrong. I want to thank Pavan Kalyanji, in fact, that uh, he's speaking out so clearly against the remarks that are made by DMK and backed by Congress and its allies repeatedly. This is something which should not be tolerated, will not be tolerated, and I as a Hindu take it in all seriousness. But Charu Pragya, the DMK and... The Congress says that this is not an issue to be taken umbrage to at all. Why not? The BJP Why is not? just trying. The BJP is just trying to make a political point of this. Please explain to me, and I'm going to say this again, Poonam, and I'm not going to name any religion. But if I were to sit here on your show today or arrange a huge conference and say that XYZ religion is like coronavirus and it needs to be eradicated, is that allowed? Is it going to be allowed in any part of the world which pretends to be secular? The basic meaning of secularism is that the same rights and duties belong to every single person of every single religion. So why is it that the majority religion must suffer because it is a majority? Can I make a remark like that against one of the minority religions in my country and get away with it? So why does DMK think or Udhyanandhi Stalin think that he can say things like that against Sanatandar, against even Hinduism, arrange for a proper conference and stick to that comment and say, Are, uh, we will see what happens. What kind of provoking statements are that? What are you exactly trying to do and who are you trying to hit out against? The very core of what India is. Mr. Murli Dharan, I see you nodding there as far as what uh, the BJP says. But, you know, even the Supreme Court has wrapped Udhari Stalin for the kind of comments that he made, that he surely needs to know the consequences when he makes comments like this. He's not a layman. He's a minister, now a deputy chief minister. But those kind of comments keep being repeated. Whether there's a political dividend or not is not the point here. Can right to free speech be abused like this? Is Mr. Pawan is the founder of Sanatana Dharma or Mr. Uh, the BJP? Are they the founders? They are not. Are they the spokesperson for Sanatana Dharma? They are not. Okay. The people of Tamil Nadu strongly believe Sanatana Dharma is a oppression, a caste oppression, which was imposed on people of uh, uh, the lower caste, whatever. And that should be eradicated. There was nothing. That's why I said they've been vindicated. Now, you, let's let's talk about BJP. BJ, what is BJP Sanatana? What does BJP means by Sanatana Dharma? Sanatan, before yes. making statements like that, why don't you... Yes, yes, yes. No, no, wait, let me finish, ma'am. Let me finish, let me finish. Yes, Mr. Jaggi Vasudev sitting inside an elephant habitat and blasting loud music the whole night and calling it Shivaratri, dancing with film actors. Is that Sanatana Dharma? Saying, you know, you know, eating beef is wrong, but Gaumutra is right. Is that Sanatana Dharma? What is Sanatana Dharma? Please define Sanatana Dharma to us. Sanatana Dharma means it's Hinduism. Hinduism is way of life. How you treat with people with love and kindness. You know, whether it's an, it's an animal or it's a plant or it's whatever it is. You know, you have a problem. You have a serious problem, BJP. They have to, first of all, define what is Sanatana Dharma. You have a problem with, you know, beef, but you have you don't have a problem with Gaumutra. That that cannot be the rule. 
you know you are actually it you are communalizing the entire sanatana dharma for your political advantage what is mr palan kalyan he was an actor earlier you pay him money he will do whatever he wants whatever role you want to play you, you want him to play. similarly now in politics mr murli dharan what mr murli dharan whether pawan kalyan was an actor or what he says now and he is acting i mean that same comparison could be made of udaridhi stalin as well but that's not the point we are debating here No, no, no. See, I, that is exactly the point we are debating here. This is politics. It's a political <laughs> comment what he made. See, the uh, the BJP spokesperson is so angered and she is so aggravated and she is, you know, you know, hammer and tongs. She is going. The reason is is small comment made by Mr. Udayniti Sal and she is a kind of you know reaction. But it's not a small people. comment. That's exactly the no, point that, that the BJP that is, is a... trying to make and Pawan Kalyan is trying to make here. I, I but Charu, see, but Charu Pragya, you had a rebuttal to make. Thirty seconds before I get in the other two gentlemen as well. Charu Pragya. Yes, thank you very much. Now the so-called analyst needs to understand. He doesn't know the basic meaning of Sanatan. He doesn't know the basic meaning of Hindutva. And then he is saying, "Oh, Sanatan Dharma is like Hinduism, and it needs to be eradicated from the world." Can you say that about any other religion? I am issuing you an open I challenge on national television that. today. <laughs> say it about any I other religion. That. You have the guts to say it. Is Sanatan Dharma is religious? Is caste is oppression? Pawan Kalyan does not have a right to say what he is saying. How come Udayan Nirvan Stalin has all the rights to abuse us and degrade us and insult us and repeat that insult again and again and send spokespersons like you on national television to keep on defending him instead of apologizing? Madam, you could not, you could not, you could not stop the desecration of the Laddu. You want to save Sanatan Dharma? Be practical. You could not stop the desecration of Laddu. You want to save Sanatana Dharma? What are you talking about? First, you first sit and discuss what. Please define what is Sanatana Dharma. That's the worst thing of all. As an Udayan, no, no. Udayan Nadi Stalin no. also. Why is his mother going praying to temples and donating then? If that, that is, is that is in, that is a true Hindu. And that so, is a true Hindu. Profession is different from what your faith is. You your problem with BJP is okay. Okay, Charu Pragya. Okay, Charu Pragya and Murli and Mr. Murli Dharan, please stay on with us. Now, let me just say one thing. Yes. Now, nowhere in the world, I have the rights to encroach upon the rights of another person. Hmm. Yes, there is freedom exactly. of speech and expression, exactly. but exactly. it cannot exactly. encroach upon my freedom to practice my religion. You cannot use your freedom of expression to insult an entire dharm. And you that's know, the point the Supreme Court has also made while pulling up Udayan Nidhi Stalin for the comments that he made there. Community, and you want to talk about all of it? You have been that torn. Shame on you. Sure. I request you to stay on with us. America and Iran and Narendra Modi also are all with us on this panel. And America and Iran, as far as what Pawan Kalyan said, he also did put the Congress in a spot, raked up a comment that Rahul Gandhi had made, and asked, "Why do you seek votes of those same people when you insult their faith?" First thing is, BJP has been trying to divide the country in the name of religion, as much as I have consistently said that. DK, which has been trying to divide the state of Tamil Nadu in the name of caste. Unfortunately, politicians do what they do for votes, and I wish we had been discussing about the economics and the people's problem today. But having come to this, the problem is that Sanatan Dharma, as Murali has clearly stated, has not been understood. properly and who gives the definition for sanatan dharma i am a proud hindu and i will say that without any hesitation everywhere however i say a proud muslim and a proud christian should have the right to follow his religion as much as he does but having said that tamil nadu recently there is a place where the dalits were not able to take their body mr Udayanidhi Stalin should have gone there and talked about upper caste oppression against the lower caste, which happens in every religion. There are converts who go to Christianity and Islam, where there is an oppression of still the caste system exists. Just as much as when I was in states, the Christianity is divided into various things. So people are people. We need to try and unite the people as opposed to talking about problems to divide the people. Unfortunately, in this case, both Mr. Uday and the Deputy Chief Ministers need not have passed the comments the way they have. Mr. Kalyan should, you know, I don't mind. He is saying that all the temples we should 
there should be a way we should regulate the quality of the prasadam. I welcome that. But because he wants to politicize this, now he needs to bring in what has been a dead thing. Now, the Supreme Court already passed a stricture that you are trying to play God's name in politics. But they still go on. Unfortunately, people don't understand the rules of the law, the rules of this country's constitution. Instead, every party, every politician try to denigrate and get into, you know, the politicians, even when they are in the deathbed, they want to be the dead man because they want to get all the attention on them. Whether it is in the uh, marriage, they want to be the bride and the groom. In the uh, dead funeral, they want to be the attention, going, would be rather be a dead body. That's what every politician is trying to do. In this case, what Pavan Kalyan is doing. Would that then be true of Rahul Gandhi and the Congress as well? Because that was the question I asked you when Rahul Gandhi said that the consecration ceremony of the Ram Mandir was a Naj Gana Sabha. Then the allegation that you the make day, against Pavan I, Kalyan I, can I, easily again, be made against Rahul Gandhi as well. I'll answer that. Several times, you can take a single word I have said even here today out of context and say something. The way the BJP has done, the... Uh, the in the Ayodhya, installing the revered Ram statue, which I pray to, the way they went about doing it, they brought in the Pachans and everybody else. It's not a movie thing. It is a question of faith. As a matter of fact, Shankaracharya himself has criticized the BJP on this. So it's not, they have not criticized Lord Ram, but the way they went about uh, Rahul Gandhi did not criticize about uh, Lord Rama Hindu Hinduism, but the Hindu Twadis who practiced and showed this as a show business rather than a bhakti movement. Staru so, Prakya, these Hindu, comments that are being made are not these about pseudo Hindus. Sure. Sure. So I get, I get your point. Charu Pragya, the allegation against the BJP is that the BJP or now Pavan Kalyan see themselves as flag bearers of a particular community of the Sanatan Dharma in this particular case, but they're really not. It's all just politics and you're using it for your political gain. Today, the DMK also turned around and said that you're just using God for your own benefit, like uh, the allegation is that like is being done in Tirupati in Andhra Pradesh. Punam, uh, first and to I, correct the conversation. In terms of bringing the quality in there, I welcome that. Sure, I'm not, sure. unlike other uh, politicians, sure, I, I don't criticize it. Hmm. Sure, I get your point there, but as far as the larger point is and the allegation against the BJP is Charu Pragya. Yes, so, um, you know, Congress uh, needs to understand that the kind of statements they are repeatedly making, still making, just now the Congress spokesperson is saying BJP is anti-Dalit, while it is your leader, Mr. Gandhi, who sits in a conference on a stage and says that we are going to scrap reservation. So, you cannot be somebody who doesn't know how to walk the talk repeatedly, again and again, because that is an insult. Let me repeat this again, Poonam, because it seems that uh, all these political leaders didn't understand one simple thing. Sanatan is a Sanskrit word. It means practices of Hinduism or duties. How is it that you are going to abolish the way we have lived our life for centuries? For centuries, nobody, no invader, however grand they have thought themselves to be, has been able to eradicate us or our way of life and what kind of a mindset is it that you're living with that eradication of someone is going to bring you some kind of joy isn't that remain, what being a remain, political yeah, culture is I'm sorry you are you. seeing an absolute I'm, political I'm, I'm, culture second, have you ever heard can anybody I come in for a second, please? say that we want to eradicate any religion any religion and you want Adequate the religion followed by 80% of Indians. You claim Sorry to for be the a Hindu. What kind of Hindu are you? Please. Mr. Narayan, let her finish. I'll, I'll give you your time to rebut. Let her finish. No, this is One terrible second, because second, even second. right now he goes on and on. Why is it that your leaders seem to have a freedom of expression to insult us? And if we respond, you are questioning our response. Is that what you stand for? And please, if you want to pretend to be secular, then Hinduism needs to be treated with utmost respect. Same as any of the minority religions you've been practicing appeasement of for all these years. Learn that. The thing I wanted to interrupt there is, I said I'm a Hindu, I'm a proud Hindu at that. However, in every religion, I'm not talking about Hinduism alone, if the discrimination in the name of caste has come 
not in the original Hinduism, but subsequently it's being practiced. And if discrimination needs to be taken out in the name of caste, then that should be done. Just because it's been practiced for several thousand years, that doesn't make it right. That's all we are trying to say. So don't true. say it has what that's has been practiced true. all the what time is always right. You are not talking about getting rid of the mispractices in any religion. You are clearly saying eradicate Sanatan, eradicate Hinduism. You are siding that's with those people. That's not what he meant. And wrong. I think he has stated that. If he, I have also proud. said that he should have avoided that. He should have avoided that. And he needs to explain it, and he will. Now, unfortunately, they have come from the DK's uh, background, just like BJP has come from RSS background. They cannot get off the tiger. What I'm asking you to say, if there is a malpractice which needs to be eradicated, mention that. How dare you side with people and call yourself a proud Indian? The DK spokesperson today, I think, has clarified that they are talking about discrimination there. No, I don't no, think, no. Mr. Narayanan, that the DMK has ever clarified. In fact, Udhanidhi Stalin and others in the DMK quote, actually doubled read, down on that attack that they did last year. In today's okay, uh, thing, I can read it for you. If you just give me a minute, I can sure. go to the place where it has been. I think it's the API that has quoted uh, where he has talked about the discrimination. One of the DMK spokesperson has clarified that to the best of my knowledge. I can again show that to you. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, Ms. BJP is stuck with, you know, uh, cow vigilantism, you know, discriminating people of their food and their religion and their, uh, you know, uh, dress code. You know, this is this is not what India is about, madam. You know, you are not the spokesperson for Sanata Dharma. We are strong Hindus. We are also, I'm also strong Hindu. And we know what Hindus is about. It's about love and kindness. Yes. It's about love and kindness. And not this is that we'll also criticize it. Yeah, we don't and have any problems about that. Exactly. And, and, and we, but unfortunately, and we, America and Iran and the, everybody else in the Congress, unlike you, is not ready to say that out loud. No, I Which have, is also I why have, after Udhani Stalin right made now, that kind today, of comment, say, we saw many others today, within the DMK, including A. Raja, today, come out and make similar comments. Ma'am, today I said very clearly, Udhani Stalin should have gone to the place where Dalit's body was not let into that and he should have talked about oppression there. He should have done that. I'm saying it out loud here. I don't have any problems because it doesn't matter who does it. The caste discrimination in the name of religion, in every religion, I, I know it, it's practiced in Christianity, I know it's practiced in Islam, and I know being a Hindu, it's even today practiced in some places, and we should get rid of. Charu Pragya, the I'm last word to you. I saw your hand going up there, there before I wrap this up. just speaking in here. Thank you. So, uh, it's all well and good to come and lie on national television, but numerous leaders over the last couple of months have left the Congress party actually for the reason that the party has been anti-Hindu, whether it is Sanjay Nirupam, whether it is so Gaurav Balla, most right recently, right Ajara Tamot, all of them have criticized the Congress party and have left it, seen feet. Uh, seen fit to leave it because of the anti-Hindu stand Congress has been taking and DMK is one step worse. So, so what is Hinduism and what is Sanatana Dharma according to you, man? Please define Sanatana Dharma. Is it about, you know, anybody who eats beef or anybody transport beef should be killed? Is that what is Sanatana Dharma? Please explain us what is Sanatana. In our, in, in our part of the world, in our part of the world, we don't worry about all that. People are educated, people are evolved, people do not discriminate people on what they eat, what they dress, etc. We are very clear. That's exactly that's exactly why you could not win single seat in Tamil Nadu. This is exactly BJP is perceived as a communal party, and your your entire your entire debate and evening, you're only going on and on about Sanatra Dharma. There is life beyond Sanatra Dharma. There is life beyond Sanatana Dharma. There is life beyond Sanatana Dharma. You know, there is communal harmony. Sure, there are there are issues that need to be discussed. Sure, there are other issues that need to be discussed. But so is this. This involves the faith of millions of people around the world in India. And that yeah, can't we, be glossed we, over we either. the oldest temples in Tamil Nadu. And, Tamil and I don't know what you meant language. by our Tamil part of the, the world, sir. But I, a lot of people from Tamil Nadu also did take objection to the kind of comments that came to no, the fore. So, so I don't know what you meant by that. 
not at all poor. Probably three percent of the people who are supporting BJP would have taken, you know, would have got offended. The rest of them were not because so then Tamil those three, is the so if the BJP supporters are just three percent, then they, what they feel or their sentiments should not be valued. Is that what you're trying to say? No, that is political because Tamil is the oldest language and Tamil literature, etc., two thousand years old. We are evolved form of Hindus. Hmm. We are not the North Indian Hindus, and we know what is Hindu. I'm sorry, sir. I don't we know what this. We are South Indian know, Hindus, which are evolved versus North Indian differentiate. Hindus. No, this no, no. is exactly the problem. This is exactly the problem that has been faced by the DMK time and again, pitting one state versus the other, one Hindu versus another, one Indian versus another. No, that's what BJP is trying to do. I think both of that is wrong. Miss, Miss, we are we are very clear in our you know thought process. That's exactly why. Uh, BJP was completely eradicated in Tamil Nadu, and BJP sure, will never be able sure, to Sure, and you can have that opinion, but what's that got to do with the the South opinion, Indian uh, Hindus man. and North Indian Indians? That is a distinction that cannot be drawn. Yeah, because I that's how it is. That. You I people are, you know, bent upon killing people who eat beef. So that's right. North Indian Hindus. South India, you don't see people killing somebody for eating beef. Mr. Murli Dharan, I cannot let you. I cannot let you say these things on national television. There is no, 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 no. That is how it is differentiated. No, it's not. We are more evolved. We are it's more not. Civilized. That's not how it's differentiated, we sir. We expect the entire country to be like this. But the only, only agenda and the only, you know, vision of BJP is talk about cow and beef. Live that is not beef. politics. That sure. is communalism. Sure. And what your views about what the BJP does, does not do, what they do right, what they do not do, you are well within your rights to have that. But to pit exactly. one part of this country against another is not acceptable, irrespective of who you ask, irrespective of what, what their BJP political BJP affiliation BJP is. is. And another, and another panelist matter. here who's not a BJP leader or a spokesperson, disagrees with you as well. I have to leave it at that. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of time, but I thank you all for joining us here on this broadcast. We are slipping into a quick break on this edition of Plain Speak, but on the other side, we'll get you what a verse that's escalating between the opposition and the BJP, the central government in this case. This is over the recognition to five languages as classical languages. There seems to be a credit war. We'll get you that after the break.